Hello and welcome. Today we'll be going over some of the newest information we've gotten now from Stunlock Studios about the new 1.0 release of V Rising. So let's just get right into it. For those of you who might have missed it, the Triple I Initiative livestream just took place literally seconds ago as I'm recording this. And just as that happened on Stunlock's YouTube uh, channel, they've now released the V Rising Legacy of Castlevania gameplay trailer. So let's get right into it and see what there is. So far, so good. We haven't seen anything new just yet, uh, except that carpet that uh, it looks like some kind of rug, maybe. Um, I assume this is probably a rug. And it looks like we have a nice little uh, new contraption here. Let's go back a little bit. This looks like a music box. We have a... It would sound... These kind of look like... Um, I forget what they're called, but... Uh, old style record players, for example, would have like this kind of, it's called like a something phone. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Sorry, uh, sorry if I, you know, forgot. Someone please remind me in the comments what these things are called. Um, but they amplify sound, so I assume this is a music box. Also, if you take a look inside of here, it looks like there might be some kind of, um, uh, contraption here going on that probably I want to assume this probably is a music box then here we have a um, looks like a new statue I've never seen this uh, statue before so that's kind of interesting uh, looking around okay the couches are the same this here on the pillars is the same but the pillar style is different um, maybe we're getting a new wallpaper that, that looks like maybe a new wallpaper up here. It looks like uh, some new windows, maybe, if we look up in this corner. Uh, I've never seen that window art, so that's that's kind of interesting. The vases are something we've seen before. Um, the chairs look familiar. The table look familiar. Uh, looks like we have some candles as wall ornaments now instead of, like, lanterns and things like that. It looks like we got some candles, so that's really nice and welcome. Uh, this... This particular uh, carpet is also new. I've never seen this carpet before, so that's really, really interesting. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the carpet I think we saw in the um, the trailer where Dracula was revealed, um, if I remember correctly. So I, I remember thinking like, oh man, I wonder if we're getting that carpet. This looks like that carpet kind of. I'd, I'm going to have to go back and cross-reference to see to make sure, but I have a feeling that's probably the same carpet. Uh, the stairways, it looks like there might be a new railing here on the stairways. I don't think we've seen before. Uh, okay, this gate, this fencing is the same. This statue in the very, very far back looks new. I've, I don't think I've seen that before. Um, yeah, this is the same statue here as we have here. They look kind of like, uh, I don't know if they're like, they kind of look like gargoyles or demons or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and here we have a new statue as well, which I don't think I've seen before. So just kind of quickly looking at stuff. Looks like the wallpaper on, on the walls themselves is brand new. I've never seen these. Um, but yeah, it looks like we have a lot of cool new stuff coming to us uh, for visual stuff. I assume this is probably a visual pack. Let's see. Okay, we have little greetings here. That's not new. And yes, we have sitting. For those of you who may have missed previous announcements, we will be able to sit in V Rising 1.0. So that's super, so super exciting. I, at this point, it's kind of become a meme, but um, you know, the meme is dead. It looks like, and uh, we have a nice little fireplace here. I think this is the same. Yeah, this staircase is new for sure. If you look at the railing, the so this is a close-up of the same one, I think. If you look at the railing, you look at the sides. I like that there's like detail on the sides. Other staircases don't really have that right now in the game, so that's actually really cool. Let's continue. Okay, so we have a new coffin, it looks like. This looks like... Uh, I think this was what... They announced for the Castlevania um, theming. Uh, so this is probably part of like a pack, kind of like how we got like that uh, Gloomrot pack uh, when Gloomrot was released. I want to assume this is probably the same kind of thing. Um, and of course, this carpet looks sick. <laughs> no, I'm just going to say I'm going to be using this carpet a lot in my castles. That shit looks awesome. <laughs> All right, continuing. <laughs> wow. 
we have a blood fountain now. That's really cool. Uh, wow, I'm just like, it just looks so good. I mean, uh, this floor tile isn't new. We've had this before. Same thing with these lamps, the chair, the tables. This thing is the same. Um, I don't see anything else. The lanterns are the same. Bird baths are the same. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here, but no, just the fountain I think is new because we have these trees as well. Um, I don't think the, the tree plots are any different in shape. They look kind of the same, but it's hard to tell from here. Uh, let's continue. Yeah, you gotta love the detail in that fountain. Ooh, ooh, fancy. I think this is, uh, oh man, I don't know my Castlevania stuff, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I think now I, I could be wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I think this is Alucard. I think. I don't know. Let's continue. We definitely got the hairstyle going. I mean, that's been, I think that's been a thing, right? I think this hairstyle, or maybe the hairstyle is new and I don't remember. Uh, this outfit for sure is new. This like kind of like cape with like over the shoulder cape with the, with a nice little jacket. Oh man, that looks sick. I love this. Very, very cool. I mean, just look at the aesthetic. Look at this chair. This is the, uh, I think this is the, the, um this is probably gonna be a throne that we get with the pack assuming that this is you know basically what's going on here okay this is a place over in silver light you can tell by the environment uh this is a new statue this looks like some kind of outdoor statue very nice um this vase here might be new i don't i don't remember seeing a vase that has like a tiny little bottom like that uh we've had like I think this is the same, maybe, I don't know. Hmm, I'm kind of questioning. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly, but I don't remember any of the vases having a tiny uh, base like that. So maybe maybe I'm just misremembering, uh, but that looks kind of new to me. Also, uh, this outfit is new. This uh, The eyes are new. She looks human. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, oh, look at the cute little owl. Okay, I don't know the I don't know the significance of any of this, but I gotta say that's a cute little owl. I want one. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who this is, but he looks like trouble. Uh, let's look around here. These are new storage containers. Looks like we have a um, bunch of skulls up here. We got some interesting little knickknacks in the in the storage containers. Looks really nice, actually um so far so good and again we have that window so it's kind of confirms my my theory on the window you know uh i didn't mention it the last video i mentioned the castle the castlevania reveal uh, or anything but um that's because i didn't see the blog before i made that video but i did see the blog post that video i also linked it in the comment section of that previous video so i guess i'll link that video here so you guys can go reference that later um continuing let's see what else we got here Oh man, look at that. Let's go back. We, we we cannot miss this. We gotta take a look at this new mount. So this looks like a new skin for our horses. Wow. Wow. Uh, and what's this over here? This looks like some other new statue or something. These look like new statues or something. This, I'm not sure exactly. This looks like some kind of like weapon storage maybe, or it could be like a... I'm not exactly I don't know it looks nice then we have the uh okay we have this gate this gate is not new uh let's take a look at the vampire features that hairstyle I think might be new though I don't recognize that hairstyle um wow wow the horses just look great I mean look at the the saddle that I, I mean I wonder what it looks like in motion though I want to see it like mounted Okay, we have this nice little bridge. This floor tile is new. Uh, this does not currently exist in the game. I like this uh, multi-floor thing. We have, hold on a second. So one, two, three floors, right? But hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I see more than three floors. We have this floor here, right? We have this floor here because remember each pillar is a floor so this floor here floor here floor here 
But when we look across here, there's some stairs leading up to here. Is that like a fourth floor? I wonder. I wonder if they did that just for the trailer or if that's something that's going to be normalized in the game where you can have more than three floors to your castle. Uh, you currently can uncap it to a higher amount, but as you go past three levels, the stability of your castle goes down and down. So I wonder if they've like corrected that in this new version uh, or the 1.0 version of the game. So we'll have to see. Uh, going back to these little statues again, we just saw these. I just addressed them. I'm going to continue. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, no, never mind. I think this trellis here, I think these lines of uh, trellises are not new. I think these are just the wooden trellis. This, okay, we have these uh, white cherry blossoms already in the game, so nothing new there. What is this area? Wait, is that an area? I don't think that's a, well, this looks like a castle, but okay, so this is what kind of gets me. Why do these trees not have a base to them if this is a home? I, I have a feeling this is not a player's house right here that we're looking at. That could also lean into the theory uh, about, you know, the multi-level castles, how right now we have three floors. I kind of wonder if that fourth floor is a castle we will explore at some point. I have no idea. I'm just kind of looking at this and seeing that all these trees are here without a base to them makes me think that this is not a player home. Also, these plants here, they look pretty naturally placed. So, I don't know. Oh, uh, looks like we have a new skin, a new uh, a new wolf uh, version of the skin. And it looks like we're carrying a sword with us. So, I assume this is probably... Uh, oh, okay. Now we have Simon Belmont. All right. So... I will show you the okay, that's really interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's continue. Oh, man, he's going to kick our ass. I can already tell. Look at this dude. He's going <laughs> to... I do not want to get bonked in the head with this thing, guys. This is going to this is going to hurt, man. I can already tell. Oh, a cyclone, like a fire cyclone. Whoa. Oh no. Okay, what is he throwing? What is that? Oh, that thing is a boomerang. So I guess my I guess my initial thought, like some I think someone in the comments section told me that yeah, it can be used as a boomerang. There it is right there. The fury of a Belmont. That looks dangerous. Wow. Amazing. Battle Simon Belmont. Oh, we still don't have a PlayStation 5 release date announced. Damn. Oh, well, I tried. Sorry, guys. <laughs> See, bring your Castlevania fantasy to life. Legacy of Castlevania Premium Pack. Available for purchase on Steam May 8th, coming to PS5 in 2024. So we know the PS5 version of the game is coming out 2024. They have not released the exact date yet. Um, so that's kind of interesting. And of course, we had this like weird statue thing again here in the background, I'm trying to see if there's any new furniture items I can spot. Uh, nope, there's the candles again. Uh, I don't see anything else in the background. There's the carpet. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, I feel like this is definitely like some kind of reference to something. I don't know. I, I oh God, I cannot remember her name, but I want to say, isn't she like, um, I, I can't remember her name, but I want to say that she's like Dracula's wife or something or just, I can't remember. And I think she's like the mom of like Alucard or something. I'm not entirely sure. Like, I don't have like a whole like, you know, backstory of like Castlevania. I try to do a little bit of reading up on it. But I mean, there's just so much lore and history that I it's just it's too much. I don't want to do a disservice to it. But holy crap, guys, we finally got the details here on what this pack is going to have but i gotta say i think i think if i had to choose something that i'm most excited for i think statue these statues in the wall oh this is a different wallpaper i just noticed this wallpaper here i think is different than the one in the first room that we saw so like if we go back here oh no it's the same one it's the same one okay uh the chandeliers don't look new to me but i could be wrong uh, but yeah, holy crap. There is so much here, guys. Um, but yeah, this pack looks beautiful. I mean, absolutely wonderful. 
Um, I know some people were kind of worried and concerned about, um, you know, there being like a crossover or saying things like, well, I, I mean, it was very few people, but there were people who voiced it and they were saying things like, oh, well, you know, I'm kind of worried that, you know, we're going to lose the aesthetic of V-Rising within this. And I, I, I thought it was kind of like weird to say because, you know, I'm pretty sure V-Rising is basically inspired by Castlevania in some way, shape or form. So for the two to come together and create like a, you know, a DLC pack and this kind of like a, a crossover of worlds, that is amazing. Um but yeah, so it looks like it looks like uh, Simon Belmont is probably going to be some kind of roaming boss. Uh, oh, hold on a second. So something else. Maybe he's I don't know. I have to confirm because I feel like this was posted about somewhere. I have to double check somewhere. Um, but this is definitely the Coliseum. Uh, just looking at this area, I'm pretty sure this is the Coliseum over in Dunley. Um, I find it interesting they decide to add him here for this particular showcase. I wonder if this showcase is just showing him here for the sake of the showcase because it's a nice arena to fight in, or if this is actually going to be the place of the boss, like his, you know, battleground. So I'm curious to see how that plays out, but oh man, really cool. Really cool. I mean, look at the look at his arsenal, guys. This is like he's throwing everything in the kitchen sink, or is it the bathroom sink? I don't remember the phrase, but wow, I I don't know, guys. This is this is crazy. Like, I'm super excited. I think the thing, if I had to choose one thing, I'm most excited for because I know people are gonna ask me this in the comments. I think the thing I'm most excited for is the new furniture items for sure. Uh, the the skeletal horse, the blood fountain. Let me go back to the blood fountain sitting in chairs come on you know you know i'm excited for that <laughs> this is going to be great for the rp peeps i think um just being able to sit in front of the fireplace with your with your crew with your friends i mean it's going to be great i can already see it um this throne looks gorgeous i mean it's just it's beautiful i mean there's so many good things they've added here uh just visually from this pack so thumbs up for me looks nice looks great um I'll be sure to do a review on this pack in game once the 1.0 version releases. So make sure to tune in for that, you know, listen, um, you know, listen in, take a look and see what I got to say about that. Um, if you guys are interested, I'm also going to be going over the different packs. I know originally I thought that I was going to do a review on the, um, the Dracula pack that we currently have the, um, founders pack and the gloom rot pack. But I decided to wait until after 1.0 comes out just so that we have the new up to date visual lighting of the new updated engine. So we'll have to see when the time comes. But yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more V Rising content news and updates, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And for those of you who don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I am a Shiloh Quintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube at 5 o'clock p.m. PST. So usually on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, sometimes it does vary. So, you know, there's that. But yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to, to leave a like. And as always, shallow out.